Oh, you know, one of the interesting and disturbing things about our business, I mean the acting lark, um, is that pretty young actresses, now I'm 67 years old, I first started a film act before the war, I acted with Will Hay, I did all sorts of things when I was in my teens, indeed mid-teens. And so I've seen, I've been in, I suppose, something over a hundred feature films, Dif different directors, different casts. And I've seen the good-looking young lady as the leading lady, a series of them, some of them very good, and I think Miss Lord is a, is a serious actress. I don't know. But of course, I'm out of the business now, making my own films, and I'm out of the country most of my life. I don't know what's happened to people, but I've seen uh, actresses go up and then they can disappear. She was uh, a pretty, and I say she was because I've been out of the country. Pretty, efficient, hardworking young lady who I remember put up with because Patrick wasn't particularly polite to his leading lady. And he, <laughs> it's a sort of rejection of pretty ladies, almost. And the psychological reason for that, well, I wouldn't wish to hazard, not just now anyway, I've got a bad back. But um, uh, I know that she came into my dressing room laughing at something that Patrick had said to her, which was hardly complimentary, the sort of thing that he would he was suspicious and all sorts of things. But she was, uh, I thought she was very good and effective and pretty and right. Mm. Oh, and I like, yes, I like. Do you know why you were asked to do another episode? <laughs> I don't know. You see, what went on in his mind, <laughs> it was very difficult. All I knew was that anything he touched uh, was worth uh, being involved in was a cut above what one was normally involved in. And uh, whether it was, whether he had that these people in a surrealist way reappeared, uh, I mean, Patrick would find it extremely difficult to say thank you. I, uh, maybe this was a way of the actors he admired, but he wasn't going to say much about it. He wasn't going to say anything about it. He was, he's not a man to hand out compliments, uh, but you know that he's honest in his own way. Totally honest, a terrible Puritan, isn't he? He's a, he's a, <laughs> he's a Roman Catholic Puritan. Well, very difficult to be a real Puritan and an actor. Mm. And that probably has inhibited his career. I wish I could have got closer to him because um, You know, real friends, friends who care, are very rare, and uh, I really feel that about him. Mm -hmm. I admire, you know, I admire a great talent, and I admire a great dedication, and a man who fights to be as honest as he does. Mm -hmm. He does naughty things. But they are not um, basically deep, deep down. They're not. They're, he doesn't wish to do anything. I think he gets fantasies in his mind or ideas in his mind that leads him to uh, feel things, do things, even say things, which are not strictly true. But. W certain things going on in his head with Patrick. But I used to lecture him, saying that you, you know, I mean, you, you should be a great, the, as big a star as exists in this world. Patrick said, no. I said, look, and then Steve McQueen was at the very height of his fame and fortune. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're a better actor than Steve. You're a tall, handsome man. You could be much bigger than Steve McQueen. 
No, no. 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 He said, my daughter has, and I'm being a little indiscreet now, perhaps, from Patrick's point of view. He'd say, right, cut here at this point. <laughs> he isn't here. Um, he said, um, my daughter has, has a big picture of Steve McQueen in her room. No one of that generation would have a big picture of me. I said, why do you say that? No. He said, I'm not that... Uh, sort of person. I found that extremely interesting. And uh, if he'd played his cards a bit differently, had uh, uh, allowed in the course of films to, I mean, men do kiss women, uh, but uh, once a fortnight he was confronted suddenly for a packed fortnight with the most attractive actresses in Britain. And I, I suppose to, he had to totally reject them. Well, that left an element in his film persona that perhaps disallowed him from being Steve McQueen and better. 